Welcome back to the channel, my fellow Koopalings, and happy Earth Day 2019. What better way to celebrate Earth Day than to uh, defend Earth's honor by killing all aliens. We're back at it again with the campaign reviews of Earthfall. And naturally, this is the eighth chronological campaign known as The Diversion. The objective of the diversion is to activate a hydroelectric dam and blow up all these alien pods we see in the water here. So first we got to do a little bit of hiking. Don't forget to check out these campsites and these other side trails for some potentially useful supplies. I quite like this map immediately. First of all, it's a daytime, so we've got a lot of rich, vivid colors and deep landscapes that we can take a look at. And also, this uh, kind of brings a narrative turning point for our surviving heroes in that, you know, we finally have a plan. We've got this plan in action. We've been working at it for a while, and this is basically the fruits of our labor so far. We've been able to make it this far as a team, surviving together. We've been able to recover all this data and, and learn about all these aliens and meet these new people and, and join the resistance. And for the first time almost ever, we're actively on the offense. So there's a very optimistic tone as we uh, traverse these back roads towards the dam. We've got this towing garage off to the left here. That's probably our first big cache location. Tons of weapons, tons of loot, so definitely worth checking out. One thing that I've really neglected in this game pretty much the entire time uh, I've been playing are melee weapons. And so I decided to go for a melee round since I found the fire axe. The melee weapons work a little bit differently than you'd expect them to, uh, just comparing them to Left 4 Dead. But uh, especially the fire axe I find very useful. The shovel not so much, but further testing is definitely needed. Once we find the highway, we get a roadblock, of course, and so we hop down to this house and take the back roads to see if we can find a way to loop back around. The garage has some goodies, so definitely check that out before proceeding. When we finally make it back to the highway, we see that the road is out and we can't proceed that way anymore. That's okay though, we'll go ahead and work our way down. Don't forget to check on the other side of this little rock formation because there's almost always a loot crate that you can scavenge and then make your way across the pond to start up the first power relay. Don't forget to come back and visit this room often as there is a 3D printer and a health station. Once the power's fully booted up, hit that power switch and it attracts the horde. There are attracts that electromagnetic stuff, but it's well worth it. Once the power's restored, you have access to the 3D printer and the health station. Here to activate these valves and uh, get ready for a boss fight because a beast almost always spawns. And in case you forgot, the beast will always go after one individual. So the best strategy is to just let the beast chase that one person and follow from behind. Whenever he breathes the fire, the vents on the back of his neck open up uh, and you can shoot that for massive damage. <laughs> it's a good strategy. This part is a little bit maze-like, but in between swarms and boss fights, just take a moment to look around and see where everything is. There's a lot of good tier 3 weapons hidden in this warehouse, dam, hydroelectric place. Eventually, you're going to want to make your way to the top floor to this relay room right here and flip the switch. The floor also has a health station and tons of loot, including very high chance of the Valkyrie weapon spawning, which I believe this is the first campaign mission uh, that we see the Valkyrie weapon. It's a pretty cool little plasma rifle thingy. It's amazing. It just eviscerates everything. And this next part is very exciting. Gotta get out of here. Let's get to and this is where I think this campaign's checkpoint should be. Right after you flip that switch. Man, it feels so good to deliver such a massive blow to these invaders after flipping that switch. That's very exciting. One thing to keep in mind, there's almost always a boss spawn, so make sure you take care of that boss before you proceed. Following up this path leads to the road uh, that leads to the fish hatchery in the dam. But before you explore anywhere, make sure you check out the area for potential health and ammo. There's this little fenced off area to the right that usually has a weapons cache and some other guns. And we are greeted with a sign, Welcome, Snowmamish Middle School. And of course, Snowmamish is a mixture of Sumamish, my hometown, and Snohomish, which is another local Seattle city. 
This is a huge area to defend, so make sure you check it all out. Uh, probably before you flip that electrical switch, there's the main warehouse right there in the back, and then two buildings off to either side that have health stations, weapons, deployable barricades, and more. You're probably going to want to stick in the main warehouse and uh, just patch it up with all these fences, propane tanks, and weapons. And as you can see, I had two random people join me, Body in the Cellar and Camper 63. And guys, this game is so much fun with actual real humans. They actually know what's up. They have their priorities straight when it comes to reviving teammates. And it's just exciting to actually play with other humans. Now all that's left is to call in the rescue with the radio and hold out until help arrives. My thoughts on the diversion are very positive. The uh, daytime golden hour setting uh, produces some very nice colors, lights, and shadows. And this is a fantastic narrative uh, shift in the story so far because finally we have resources, we have a plan, we're joining forces with the other local humans, and we're executing that plan to deal a massive blow against these alien invaders. So overall, this campaign just feels and plays really well, gameplay-wise and narratively speaking. I really, really like this campaign.